Champions All is a book written by Matt Zerbo containing a compilation of the stories of 171 footballers across many generations, them telling their story in their own words. It highlights the ins and outs of all the, the AFL club and some of the, the names of well, the AFL's greatest players, Brassi, Rusciuto, uh, Burke. Uh, Byron Pickett, you got me flush one day, mate. You got me flush, Emily MCG broke the jaw in three places. So thanks, Byron Pickett, for that, mate. Rusciuto, Ruse, Skilton, Wade, Barry Breen. Okay, come, my name's not the cover. Vinnie Cotoggio, what a hairstyle of hair he had, mate. Eh? I wish I could grow a hair, a hair like that. 171 footballers talking to a footballer over a beer. They're likely to spill their guts. It's not a, it's not a book, it's, it's more a storytelling book. Here, but Matt, with his own experience as a long-serving player and coach, has been able to provide us football lovers with an insight into what made them tick. You'll also see a lot of uh, history from the inside. Uh, you know, football clubs have certainly run uh, very differently to what people may think uh, outside. Yes, mate, everyone's big anti-drinking, anti-junk food, but Monday nights of our ever-conquering, or all-conquering 2000 Premiership side, Monday nights we used to go to O'Sullivan's, which is a famous uh, Irish pub down Essendon way. Um, they used to bring out dirty big plates of deep-fried food, junk food. Uh, we used to have three or four pots. Everyone thought that was great, it was good fun. Uh, the coaching staff used to go home at about eight o'clock and a few of the boys got stuck into it. And most Tuesday mornings you can see us uh, pretty pissed on a, <laughs> on a Tuesday morning in O'Sullivan's pub. But uh, that's how we built our camaraderie. That's where the team spirit come into it. And that's where I think we, that was a nucleus of a, a successful side. A dirty, rotten palmer and 16 or 15 pots on a Monday night. You can hear the bumps and feel the grudges. From 1940s to now, History always looks different from the inside. If it was just about 300 game players, the book would be boring. It's about battlers, tough men, hard men, back pockets, ruckmen. I work on the docks and I'll tell it how it is. So go Tigers and eat them alive. Um, but just a great read, mate. Do yourself a favour and get out there. I sound like Molly Mulder, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, been very privileged to be a part of it.